hey guys welcome back to my channel um i wanted to give you guys some updates um with the cage that i have been using and to summarize everything it's not really working for us and i'll let you guys know why um the way the bottom tray works with this cage at least it kind of goes inwards now if you guys haven't been keeping up with my updates my bird muffin is blind so what muffin really does is she goes to the sides of the cage to kind of go from place to place but she also likes clinging on the sides now the issue with that is that because the tray and the like lower part it kind of goes inwards you tend to see a lot of poop marks and believe it or not i just cleaned her cage yesterday um yesterday morning to be exact and i am going to show you guys a little bit of poop so you guys can you know have an idea of what i'm talking about um so if you're kind of squeamish or don't want to see poop just maybe turn away but i think this is going to make more sense once i show you guys hey muffin i need to open your cage okay so that's muffin if you guys haven't met muffin yet so this is what i'm saying so it'll go to the sides um and that becomes really difficult to clean because it's just that weird corners so sorry about all the poop but literally i cleaned this um yesterday and now that's becoming a big issue for me um so we are gonna try a different cage now this is my old cage um i had the I'm sure some of you are familiar with it. The Vision Hagen. I think that's how you pronounce it. I had the MO2. So I think the MO2 is the um, two tiers. Um, and basically I have I have some of the pieces. Basically I made it one tier. I can't make it two tier because muffin will fall. So I made it one tier. I actually removed the, um, the top tier which here's the... Sorry, Muffin. Here's the bits to that. So I made it one tier. I still haven't done her cage yet, but I'm gonna show what it looks like. Hey, Muffin. I'm sorry. I scared you. Sorry about that. So the purchase, yes, the purchase and the toys that I have in here, I think they will all be going to the uh, vision cage. Um, I don't think that I will be changing that. Um. Uh, the food bowls I'm gonna keep the same um, so I'm not gonna be us using the vision um, food bowls um, I just never really liked them to be honest um, other than that I don't know I might uh, add a few things down the line but let me show you what the new cage looks like empty and then I'll set it up and then I'll show you guys again okay guys this is the vision cage now obviously i said i'm gonna show it to you guys empty so obviously it's empty um i'm gonna add most of the stuff that muffin has in her cage just so she's familiar with many of the stuff already it opens in the front like i said this used to be a very tall cage but i lowered the tiers to only one but this is the medium size um now the reason why in the past i got a different cage which is the cage that you guys have seen before i think it's called a montana cage um that the reason why i got that is because the vision cage don't have a tray so if you want to uh, clean the cage you kind of have to lift it and um, there's those gray parts on each end you remove those and then you lift it the problem is with this size it's not going to be an issue but because i had two tiers it was actually really heavy so that's why i wanted another cage um this cage i don't know what the prices are from for different countries but i think it should be maybe roughly around a hundred dollars now again i got two tiers so i don't remember i think i paid around 140 i don't know the prices now but i will have some amazon links if you guys want it the main advantage of this cage is that it's longer um this cage on the other hand which i'm just putting it beside my shoe we're gonna take muffin out but it's actually taller now that is not the greatest it's not a bad cage at all i actually had snowy in here when she was sick i had lemon in here i sometimes had to um 
quarantine my birds if they were sick so it's a fantastic cage it's just that in this case for a muffin it's not really useful so we are gonna try oh let me focus okay so we are gonna try this one now the reason why i wanted to give this a shot so i don't know if you guys could see let me open the doors it's an empty cage and it's gonna be kind of hard but it kind of goes flat down and there's a bit of a curve from the outside so whenever she does poop it's just gonna go down and um, with my birds i never use this bottom kind of rack um okay so i never use this bottom rack i'm sorry it's really going out of focus the reason is because my budgies would never go to the bottom of the cage and walk but for muffin i'm going to be using it muffin does like being at the bottom of the cage at times and i'll see how often she goes down it shits very often because this is a rack i'll probably have something softer but yeah so this is what the bottom looks like now Hopefully I could decorate it in a bit and then I'll show you guys how it looks decorated. I'm really hopeful. I hope this method works for me. If not, I mean, we might have to try something else. Muffin also has been having issues with her, I guess, digestive tract. Ever since I changed her to Harrison pellets, her poops smell really bad. And it's not because she's in egg laying mode, which I've heard that many cockatiels when they're laying eggs, they kind of have smelly poops. But um, she is only three months old. Um, she's not even an adult. So that's not a possibility. I'll see if it's diet related. I might not have to make a vet visit. But I am slightly worried about that. So we might actually even have to make a vet visit. Because her poops are smelling really bad right now. So let's decorate. And then I'll show you guys the final look. Okay guys. Um, this is what the final look is. Muffin is... You know investigating um i i don't know maybe i'll show you guys the toys they're all the same toys as, except for that frog toy these two toys are diy those two are from feather addictions and that one um, i think that yeah i think that might also be from feather addictions i'm not too sure but you know they're all the same toys but let me just kind of do you guys a close-up inside the cage i just have this butterfly toy again that's from Feather Addictions, um, this star toy is a DIY toy, this frog toy is also a DIY toy, and then this is from Feather Addictions, and I think this toy, which is a pineapple toy that I have, which is also from Feather Addictions, um, and the only thing right now is missing is Muffin's food bowl, right Muffin? Are you ready to investigate? So let me put Muffin in there, she'll investigate, and... I'll probably get her food bowls ready so she could start eating. She hasn't had breakfast yet, so I'm sure she is very hungry right now, right? Right, you little cutie pie? Are you ready for your new cage? <laughs> Hopefully you like it. Okay, come on. Don't be scared. Step down. Do you want to step down? Okay, good girl. One more foot. There you go. Muffin really likes licking stuff. I think that, that just helps her to get around. Um, and like I said, she really likes climbing. No, that's the outside, baby. Um, we got to go inside. Let me help you a little bit. Okay, I'll put you on the top perch. Step down. Okay, look, she's so cute. Oh, again, she really likes that star toy, so I might do different variations of that. Um, yeah, so let me get her food bowl ready, and then I'll kind of show you guys the total look. So, guys, this is the final outcome. That's her pellets. It's Harrison pellets. Um, fresh water, and obviously she's investigating right now. Um, I'm really hopeful that this cage at least will work out for us. Hopefully we could get the poops in control. Um, I wonder what she's up to. What are you doing? She's like, I'm playing mom. So she likes that toy as well at the bottom. But I think she's finding ways to get around. Um, hopefully... You know, I, I don't want to make it, because I see some people's cage, it's very crowded, and that's beautiful. 
but in my case I prefer keeping it minimal the reason is is because um, with time I could tell what she needs and what she doesn't need and I could add stuff because if it's very crowded it's harder to tell oh she likes the blue toy that's cute um so that's good news um yeah so I really hope you guys like our cage now um I'll maybe do an update I don't know maybe a month later from now to see how everything's working hopefully it works if it doesn't I might need to invest in a new cage um but I'm really hopeful that this this cage will work i really like also i forgot to mention i really like the bottom because you could really see and it also protects you know from seeds and stuff from falling out if you have budgies and stuff but i mean she goes to the bottom she doesn't really make a mess other than being a big pooper <laughs> but um i really like that you could also see what they're doing i mean that's very dark and very you know it's it's not the greatest it's not a horrible cage but i prefer a more aesthetic look um yeah so let me bring out muffin and we'll say goodbye to you guys and that would be today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it so guys this is the end of the video i really hope you guys liked it and hopefully you guys also liked her new cage fingers crossed it works out um thank you for coming to my channel please don't forget to subscribe have a nice day guys bye bye